Hi, I'm Dean Crab, Director of C2 Solutions. Just wanted to walk you through this awesome product we've created called Google Forms to Asana Checklist Pro. It basically allows you to connect your Google Form and have the submission details come into Asana, but then also be able to resubmit the form as well and we keep a complete revision history, but you can also create an entire checklist automatically in Asana based on the information that's submitted, which is really handy in automating your business. To set it up, there's three major things you need to do. One is install it. Second is run through the setup wizard to connect it to Asana um, and configure settings. And then three, go ahead and use it. So in this video, hopefully in 10 minutes or less, I'll get through all of those things and show you how to do it. To install it, go up to the three dots and go down to add-ons. Search for Asana and then install it. It'll require you to select your Google account. Okay, it works with both personal Google accounts and also business accounts. Then you'll have to approve it. Now, just to cover some of this, we do send emails on your behalf. Okay, so you can um, you can have the form send a notification when it is submitted to you or anyone else in your business. We connect to an external service, obviously, which is an Asana, and we do need to manage the files in your Google Drive. One is obviously the Google Form attaches to a response sheet, but one of the fields within Google Drive allows you to upload files. So for us to be able to make it work with all the fields, we need all these permissions to um, have the service work properly. So just get into the bottom and click Allow and that will then install on the form and you'll get this white bar across the top when you're done. Okay, so you basically just need to refresh the form and you'll get a puzzle icon on the top right over here. Okay, and then that is the install done. Now we go into the second phase of everything which is setting it up. So just click the puzzle icon, click there and then click run the setup wizard. Now, before we start, you need a response sheet attached. We can't save any settings or do anything without a response sheet. So the first step is to create a response sheet, go save. The next thing we do then is check if you have a valid license already or not for this form, okay, or for your business. So I don't here, so it's gonna ask me for my email address, which I can put in there. Okay, and accept and basically start the trial. That's all you need to do. We initiate the trial from there automatically for you. We come back to the wizard and we're on to step two. We just now need to connect a dashboard. Now the dashboard is where you can create your task checklist that gets automatically created within Asana. And we also store some settings and things in there. So give that a moment to generate. Um, and we'll, you'll see in the back end, if I actually show in the Google Drive, these are the uh, response sheet was just created here. Okay, there's my response sheet and the dashboard will be created here in a moment. Okay, and click OK and then you'll see the dashboard created there as well. Now the next thing I need to do is connect to Asana. Okay, we need your personal access token. There's a training video here, all the steps through here to do it. It's very easy to do, just go over to Asana Go up to your organization in the top right and go down to My Profile Settings. Go to Apps on the top and then down the bottom, Manage Developer Apps. And you just need to come down here and under Personal Access Tokens and create a new Personal Access Token. So copy the Personal Access Token back to your form, paste it in there, that's all you need to do, and go Save and that'll connect you to Asana. Now that we've connected to Asana, you need to select the workspace. You can have multiple workspaces in Asana, so when this form is submitted, you need to specify where it's going to. So we'll select my business C2 solutions and then click save. Now this takes a moment at this point because once we know the workspace, there's a set of users and tags within that. So we take the time now to import all of that into the dashboard so you can use that to fill out your task checklist very easily. So there's just a little bit of a wait there. And now you select the destination. You've got two options for step five. One is to create a new task within an existing project, okay? Or two is to create a new project within a team. So I'm gonna create a new task within an existing project. Click Next. It'll load all the projects you have in Asana. You can pick the one you want. So I'm gonna click this um, testing one here, okay? And then just click Save at the bottom. 
and that's the wizard complete. Now, we, there are additional settings you can set uh, to customize what comes through. So let's go and configure those settings now as well. You can set multiple notification recipients if uh, you want them to be notified when the form comes in. So we'll just put in their email address. Um, you can include a task prefix if you want to. So we'll call this new lead. Um, do you want to include the form name? No. Date, time and version? Yes, I'll include that. But you can also pick fields. So I might put the customer name and the company name in there and go save settings. And that's all of our settings done. Now there's one last thing you can do. We could submit that now and have that come through. But if you want a task checklist created, over here click open task checklist and go, there's a training video, um, but I'll just show you very quickly. If you click that, it'll open the dashboard. And in here, you can create the list of tasks you want created. So let's just do some quickly, call it task one. I'll put, put some notes in the task. Okay, you can pick who your assignees are. So I'm gonna pick Dean. And then you can pick followers. Okay, and that automatically pulls in from Asana. You can also put in um, tags. Okay, again, also automatically pulled in from Asana. You can have some other notes there. I'll just copy that information. Paste it there. I'll set that as five days. So that's due, days due after being submitted in a task three. And that's our checklist already done for us. Okay, and now we can go and test our form and submit it and you'll see the magic happen. So let's go back to our form. We'll just preview it, fill in the form and submit it and you'll see it come into Asana. So it's now uh, 4.05, put test, test company, the phone number, your email address, select the options of what they want to pick in the form. So basically all the fields are supported within um, here and some other notes. Okay, and then submit it and you'll see that automatically come into Asana. This is uh, the project we had here where we had the testing coming in and you'll see the form come in here. And there's our details. You can see it's got new lead, the name of the person, the company name, the date stamp and a version number, and there's all the details of the form. Okay, and there's your task being created with the due dates and being assigned to people. And if you have a look at one of those, you'll also see the notes being and notes assigned. And there's my email coming in, my notification email coming in as well. Okay, there's my email that I get notified of. There's an edit response link there, but also back in our Asana. If you go to the parent, there's an edit link here as well. So if you click that edit link, it'll take you back to the pre-populated form and you might want to change, say the phone number is wrong and change the phone number, okay, and then resubmit it and you'll see that update come back through to Asana again, all updated in here for you. So there you go, you now see the incremented to version two and the phone number's been updated, okay. Um, so it's a great way of being able to submit your forms into Asana and create checklists of work that need to be done as well. So there you go, that's under 10 minutes how to install, set up, and use Google Forms to Asana Checklist Pro. Hope you like it. Feel free to contact us if you have any support questions. Um, we'd love to hear from you and improve our product. You can email us at support at c2solutions.com.au. Thanks very much and uh, look forward to talking with you soon.